Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of, well, actually the first episode of Wednesday, World Cup Wednesday pickups. So what I want to start to do about every other Wednesday is I'll start a series of a, a log of what cards I'm picking up as far as pa previous World Cups and also the one coming up. It's not so much an investing video as to what I'm picking up to sell uh, for the World Cup, because I do have a lot that I am going to end up trying to sell with the World Cup, but rather maybe PC, uh, hold for long-term investment value, such as the 2014 Prism World Cup set. That's like my all-time favorite set because it jump-started the whole modern card, card market. Um, I absolutely love that set, all the parallels to it. But um, I am picking up like 2018 World Cup Prism. Uh, Prism does such, Panini does such a good job with their sets as far as the World Cup's concerned. So I really, really do enjoy those cards. Um, but at PC, Frankie de Jong, Luka Modric, the Netherlands. So I do like to pick up a lot of their cards. And if you think about Frankie, he's really only in the Optic and Donra set of this year. This will be his first World Cup. So I do pick up some some uh, different parallels of that set as well. So to jumpstart it, we're starting off with a pretty simple card here. This is the Jordan Savachu Optic Rated Rookie Base. Um, I really like him because he scores goals. <laughs> he puts the ball in the net, which the U.S. sorely lacks. So with injuries and poor production, hopefully he'll make the squad for this upcoming set of World Cup qualifiers. We absolutely need to score goals, especially with Mexico and Panama um, in these next few games. So he is a little bit older, so I'm surprised he has a rated rookie in this set because he's been in playing for quite some time. But... Yeah, I'm super stoked to see if he actually makes the team, and I'm excited he has a card in this set, because this might be one of his first cards, actually. Obviously, if it's his rated rookie, right? Next one up here is a Carlos Valderrama, and I'm picking him up from the 1994 USA, it's a sticker, uh, USA World Cup, because of the whole story behind Colombia with this World Cup, and Pablo Escobar funding the team, and basically threatening them, threatening their families, um, basically with death if they don't do well and how they didn't do well and the Escobar scored his own goal, scored on his own team um, and really the whole story that took place with that. So if you haven't seen it, it's there's an awesome 30 for 30. It's older now, probably early 2000s on this and it's just a really, it's a really cool story. Really unfortunate, very sad, but yeah, that's why I picked this card up. Now when I bought this card, the gentleman who gave it to me or sent it to me also sent me the 19, I think it's 96. No, 98, sorry. Yeah, I don't know why I said 96 every four years. So 1998 World Cup uh, sticker of him. So pretty cool. Just adding it to the collection. And I do PC the him. So this is actually jumpstarting my PC collection of Carlos Valderrama. And that hair was just amazing. Next up is a Netherlands player, Memphis Depay. He is the forward for the team, but this is the optic uh, red velocity. And so I did not pay $4, I paid $2 for it at my local card shop. And yeah, I saw it and I had to have it. So yep, pick this up just for the PC. Next up is one of the best players right now, especially for my club team, which is Arsenal, Gabriel Martinelli. And yeah, this is his rated rookie. So this is the base version, the optic version in his Brazil kit, but yeah, it's, cards come down massive in value, I guess with the overproduction that was bound to happen, especially with the base, but I think when this first came out, it was like $20, I don't think I ever paid that, but high end, probably six or so, so I know it's come down for sure from there, because I've been picking some up for about a buck or two with free shipping, so super stoked to see how well he does, and he's been playing lights out for Arsenal. Sticking along those same lines, I picked up an orange Donruss laser of him. Um, yeah, I have to get the parallels because <laughs> there's just so much base out there. But the Donruss lasers are super sweet. I love the panoramic effect they have. So, yeah, sweet card. And actually, this is an investment. I do plan on moving this during the World Cup, um, both of them. And even this gentleman here, which is probably my favorite card as of right now, this is the red parallel optic version out of 149. So this card is so freaking beautiful. And it's, pre 
it's a little more wider on the right to left. And I was thinking about, I guess you're, yeah, right to left. I was thinking about sending it off to get graded, but I think there was some scratches on the surface of it. So just keeping it in the one touch. But yeah, this card's amazing. I think I paid about 60, 60 to 70 for it. So hopefully it goes up in value, but yeah, I do plan on him having a great World Cup. So super excited to see what he achieves. And I got this guy, Hazard. I absolutely love him as a player. Uh, he's older now, so he is more injury prone, um, which is unfortunate, but he's still a super stellar player. I forget, I think I got this for about eight bucks on Com C, but out of 149, three out of 149, this is gonna be the 2018 Prism. So I, I may keep it, I may move it, just depends what his value looks like when it comes to the World Cup and if he's healthy. I have a bunch of his stuff from 2018, some of the other parallels. But this card is super sweet. It's a nice color match to it. And then my favorite set I always leave for last, the 2014 World Cup. Um, for this video, I just have the base matchups. I love the matchup cards, I'm collecting the set of them. Um, but Diego Forlan, oh gosh, he was such a stud for Uruguay. And then Landon Donovan, I mean, one of the heroes for the U.S. next to Clint Dempsey. So absolutely love this card for the reason of just that. There's two stars on it, but it's just the base version. You can get these for like a dollar or two dollars on eBay right now. A lot of the variations of it. The only one that's really, really difficult to get, as you would imagine, is the Ronaldo and Messi. Shoot, man, that's like 150, 200 bucks. Might even be more than that. I don't really know uh, for the base. So that'll probably be the last card I pick up. But I am throwing it in a binder, and these cards are just super sweet. So that will be the set for right now. I would say my favorite out of all of them would be this Martinelli for sure. And, uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see what he achieves this World Cup. So we'll be back at you in two weeks with another video for World Cup Wednesday pickups. So have a great day and take care.